Imagine the earth is so hot that the oceans are boiling. All of the land on earth is connected to each other and it makes one giant continent which is called the Pangaea supercontinent. We are around 250 million years ago at this moment and because of the heat in the ocean it starts boiling it and the steam goes nowhere but up. The oceans evaporate so much that they're only forced to rain. When the rain starts, it has no plan in stopping anytime soon because it wants to go for 2 million years. Around this time, there were a lot of reptiles living on Earth, but because of this long rain, the Earth was slowly getting ready for a new group of animals, dinosaurs. Archaeologists can easily predict that about 234 million years ago, the Earth was completely dry and it shows that it has been a very long time since it rained. Around the reptiles that lived before the rainfall, there were a lot of animals that were similar to dinosaurs, but a lot shorter and smaller. The reptiles and animals that lived back then, they were very used to this extreme dry weather. When the rain started, it made the ground wetter and more humid, and a lot of animals that lived in the dry heat weren't used to this type of weather anymore. Just like we said, with the help of archaeologists and different rocks on planet Earth, it shows us that around 234 million years ago, it was completely dry before the rainfall. But in the next layer, it shows archaeologists that it was wet for a very long time. Not only is proof found all over Pangaea, but it's also found in different islands. So the rainfall was happening pretty much everywhere. Some scientists predict that this might have been a hurricane and it came and went. But history shows us something different because this rainfall lasted for 2 million years. When archaeologists look at different rocks around the world, between 232 and 234 million years ago, the rocks are extremely wet. And when you look at it to this day in different continents like the US, Asia, Africa or even Australia, you could see the effects of that 2 million year rainfall. Not only does this rainfall fall back into the ocean, but it creates a lot of new life on land and it completely changes the ecosystem. Scientists believe that when it was raining for that long, about 1400 millimeters of rainfall would happen every year. And that's something a rainforest gets every year. The rain was completely changing Earth's ecosystem. The biggest difference scientists could come up with is that a lot of animals went extinct and a lot of new animals were born, especially dinosaurs. When they look at the fossils around that era, they see that before the rain, 5% of the fossils belong to dinosaurs. But after the rainfall, 80% of the fossils belong to dinosaurs. So what took place for the dinosaurs to grow so rapidly all around? Did they really like this rainy weather? Experts believe that the dinosaur didn't really care about the rainfall. It really cared what the rainfall brought to them. And that includes different forests, trees, and plants. It also created a lot of different lakes. At that time, plants weren't as complicated as today. And there weren't many short plants around. It was mostly taller trees. And that is why throughout millions of years, herbivore dinosaur's neck grew longer and longer so they could reach the tippity top. The animals that could handle the rainfall stayed along and tried to evolve. But the ones that could not handle it 
unfortunately went extinct. The Earth was confronted with a bunch of new animals. Just like we said, the oceans were boiling and because of the steam, the clouds were made. That leaves a question, why was it so hot for the oceans to turn into steam? There is a theory about this. They believe that there were a set of volcanoes in Alaska and for millions of years, they released CO2 into the atmosphere. Everybody knows that CO2 is a greenhouse gas and when they go up in space, they stay there and cause the earth to get hotter. At that time, the Earth's temperature rises by 18 degrees Celsius. 18 degrees Celsius is a lot actually. And that was the reason the oceans were turning into steam and a bunch of clouds were formed. After 2 million years, the rain eventually stopped. What the rain pretty much did was carry all that carbon that was built up in space and brought it down to the ground. And since the carbon wasn't causing the earth to get hotter, that means the earth started to cool down and in the end, it stopped the rain from happening. After the rain stopped, the earth got a little more drier, but it was much better than before. Because beforehand, there were floods everywhere. This rain caused a new tree we all love to be born, something called pine trees. And since then, you could pretty much find different types of pine trees all over the world. When the rain stops, that's when the dinosaur age begins, and that continues until 65 million years ago. So we can say that dinosaurs lived on Earth for about 167 million years. That's an insane amount of time because humans have been around for probably about 2 million years. When you look at it, just imagine the amount of creatures Earth has seen and it just recently seen us. If it could talk, it would probably not like us because we kind of not treated well. We leave trash everywhere and we don't take care of it like we should. 